What's up, what's up, world, man? We're back, we're live, we're direct. We're here in Mount Clemens, man. It's Father's Day weekend. And you with your host, Ray Bands, that nerd from the bird. We right here on Shady Side, Mount Clemens. As soon as you cross the bridge, you know what I'm talking about? You know how you come around that bend, and then you see Walgreens on your left, and then you, you see that comfort or whatever that is, that hotel, and you go over the bridge, look to your right. It's a nice splash pad over there. That's when you know you in the Clemens. Okay, that's when you know you on Shady Side. Hang a right, come on down the block, move around the apartments, and you gonna see us over here chilling, posted up, zone talk. It's your man, Ray Bears, that nerd from the birds, and we got a special guest uh, that slid in who who's definitely on the scene. I want y'all to get to know this guy because he's got a special, unique talent when it comes to uh, the videography and photography. It takes a lot to be us type of individuals. It takes a lot of tenaciousness, but it's a lot of lonely nights. You got to have quiet nights in order to pay attention to what you do. So we're going to get it in the mix with Cliff. Cliff, C4, C4. CM4. CM4. I'm sorry, baby. Don't get me fucked up. I didn't have me one. Oh, CM4 in the building, man. We got the children. T-Rex, <laughs> uh, come get your guy. T-Rex. <laughs> hey. Hey. The children is here to play, y'all. They is not having it. We is not going to be just forgetting about them whatsoever. So, if y'all ain't know, it's holiday weekend, a special holiday weekend, Father's Day. It's not like Mother's Day. It's Father's Day. And we got the guy, the head haunch of CM4 Productions. Clip. Let them know what time it is, man. What's Introduce going on, yourself, man. baby. We out here, Gooch. Shout out to Gooch and, uh, and everybody that put this together. This is the fourth year that we did this. And uh, I'm really liking it in the direction that it's going. We got Gaming Bus right behind the camera. We got 500 burgers, 500 hot dogs, water, pop, juice. And it's just good to see all the fathers outside, man. I like that, man. Right. If, if, if you haven't been to Mount Clemens, and you're just now finding out about the energy that we create over here or the energy that, you know, individuals put together to, you know, to celebrate. This is the occasion. This is the event. And we're here with some zone talk. So, Cliff, tell me, as as an individual, uh, a, a, a person of age now, and a father, a father, what does it mean to... You know what I'm saying? Have that that rank, that title now to be a growing man and to say, I am a father. That's a good question. I think that uh, it's all about responsibility, accountability. You never ready. Like when I found out I was going to be a dad, I was nervous. Just nervous as shit for real. <laughs> and uh, it's just something that you kind of just step into and it kind of builds you as you go through it. You know what I'm saying? So shout out to all the dads that's stepping up. And all the dads that's already been dads. I was a late bloomer, but it's all hey, good. Hold on, I was too, though. Okay, okay. I, I, at 32, my little blessing came to me. Same so, thing. So, see what I'm saying? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, don't yeah. feel bad. Don't yeah. feel you out the mix or nothing. <laughs> hey, that's right on time. Yes, sir. So, what kind of mindset do you have at, at that age and knowing you're a father? Um, A lot of patience, for real. A lot of patience and a lot of, like, just sharing my time. Like, it's not my time no more. Yeah. And they're just like understanding that I'm on somebody else's time and I got a job to protect, provide. So it's just like walking into different phases. I feel that, man. Like, when you think about it, is the holiday or is the weekend celebrated like it should be? What you say? One more time. Is the holiday celebrated like it should be? Is, is the Father's Day celebration one of those ones where we get enough attention? <laughs> I do notice that Mother's Day and other holidays get way more attention. Um, I don't think it's celebrated how it should be. I don't. I feel you. I think it's like when, it, when, like for Christmas or Mother's Day or Valentine's Day, it's chocolate and roses and jewelry. <laughs> what we get? What we supposed to get? <laughs> I can't. I can't lie. My girl stepped up this year. I got a Blackstone 36 inch. Shout out to her. Hey. But for the majority, speaking of like the majority. You getting like underwear, some little cheap cologne. It's like, ain't we grateful? But it's like, damn, we damn oh, yeah. this We damn this one broke on your day, but on our day, you gotta, you know what I'm saying? So, I just, I don't think that it's celebrated how it should be celebrated. I don't. 
Well, we gonna find a way to change that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Shout out to the beautiful women that help celebrate Father's Day like they do. Thank you. Yes, indeed. <laughs> uh, what What do you think people should understand about being a black father in in, in 2024? It's a risk. It's a risk because just the way that we view, it's a it's just risky, but. I think black fathers are the best fathers in the world. Come on. But shout out to all the fathers. But I think it's a, a stigma on black fathers right now in like the internet and like the, the social media era that black men don't take care of their kids. But if you pan the camera around, I can count 50 fathers outside right now. Shout out to Gooch. Shout out to Gooch, man. You see us out here, folks, man. We, we, we not nothing, hesitating buddy. to be behind them kids, y'all. You see us. All in effect. So everybody outside. Everybody got their kids. It's an <laughs> like overall that. good event. It's a good event. It's a positive energy. My boy. My boy. My boy. Good to see you, bro. Hey, bro. Yes, sir. All right. My bad. My bad. It's all good. It's all good. It's a special occasion, man. It's Father's Day. So as an individual that stepped into uh, the videography world, how do you... How do you spend time as a father and put that in place? You kind of got to incorporate him into like both. So now he like a part of the whole like plan. So if I do a skit, he might have to be in it or he might just have to hold the camera or just stand to the side. But you definitely incorporating him into like what you do, like professionally. It's hey. like, it's, it's like, I don't see like a separation. I don't either, man. Well, like you, I'm a father here and I'm, a, I'm over here doing my video. It's like both. It's like both. I know that's right, man. Hey, my man over here sitting behind the camera with all the good grub. Right, and I ain't made what? no moment to do the same thing, but he got some of that good mac and cheese. I got a legend. I got a legend right behind me on the camera. If, if, I got a legend right behind me on the camera. Shout out to Clemtown Wood, too. Shout out to Clemtown Wood, man. He we doing all shout out. Shout out to everybody that's holding the town down. There it Eat is. good, drink good. I see y'all, boys. So, we on that. Happy Father's Day, fellas. It's up. Cheers. That's, that's, it's a proud moment, man. It's a, it's a good day. The sun is shining, and it ain't even too hot. Not too hot at all. It's real Not good. Not too hot at all. We right off the Clem yeah. River, man. Shady side. Tell me, when it, when when somebody comes to the Clem and they they cross over coming through Bradshaw, what's the atmosphere? What's 2024 like? I think it's welcoming. I think it's very welcoming. I think uh, it's just a lot of positive energy. I mean, like beyond from like, you can start at 15 and go to Mount Clemens. And then it's a lot of positive energy where like we want to see each other win. We hold these events. We doing these giveaways, coach for kids, backpacks, Father's Day. Right, right. And it'd be random days when somebody come outside. Like I'm just grilling for the whole neighborhood. Like, all right, bet. Yeah, so I think bad. it's just a lot of, I think it's a lot of positive energy. Okay. So you talk about the, uh, the, the events that go on. You're... Uh, a pillar in this town when it comes to uh, being able to gather people. You guys have been doing it for some time now. I appreciate that. That's love. The, the seventh tournament. We was talking to Wood earlier about the seventh. How, how does that idea keep manifesting itself every year? Shout out to the seventh tournament, August seventeenth this year. That the seventh tournament kind of did. It kind of evolved on its own in like a snowball effect, like. Yeah. Everybody kind of like reached out and it just made like this snowball effect to where everybody donate and give back and just do like a big ass field day for the kids. Okay, okay, okay. So as a field day, when you when you got a crowd of people out here, the tents are up, the vendors are going, what kind of adrenaline does that bring for an individual like you? It's just it's 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 motivational at the end of the day because it's like you got people that work jobs that work a, a nine to five and they run their own business and that's respect so yeah, to give them an opportunity to push it out and get the merchandise off or just put the word out and network is just it's awesome actually just like last year we had eight vendors was on the low side but 2020 we had 24 vendors yeah and, and we had 20 we had 12 on both sides and it was just shoes do rags Coat, scarves, candles, cake, everything. Everything. Like, that's important to me. To see uh, peers of my own, you know what I mean? Pushing for whether it be a, a, a specific body of people or whether it be for a collective body of people. Yes. It's a lot of us that are trying. I think it's important that no matter who you are, if you're from an area and you see something going on, to at least pull up, show face, 
and, and get out of the stereotype of ain't nothing going on in my town. Uh, it's boring around here. You, you Some need people to gonna go against it regardless. I learned that that no matter what or what event you put on, some people gonna go against it regardless. Cause you got in your mind, you want everybody to have a good time. Yeah. But you got your little, you got you got a couple that sit to the side. They just don't want to see it. They don't, man. And it's 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 a hard pill to swallow. But you know what I'm saying. We gonna we gonna kick more stuff with Phil. I mean, I called you Phil. We gonna kick it more with Cliff, man. See him for productions. We gonna right. find out. How does a man operate as the CEO of his his own destiny? Goes. You know what I'm talking about? And we're gonna dig more into that, man. Y'all keep it locked, it's Ray Benz, that nerd from the bird. Yeah. No lick hitting the birds. We just nerds from the birds. Smoking gift the herb. In and out the three one third. Cause my gut us from the birds. Oh, you never been this way before. No. Take it to come on, let's go. Let's go. On the boat up, north of a road. On the boat, watch to the YMCA. On the court, busting them with the OJ. From the top of the K. Know some gutters is capital G. Gotta jump out of the gym, straight from the Clem. Watching them Washingtons. Into them Benjamins. Then be them battling bay. There's couple of gutters, they owe me some favor. Strapped in, they legally got it on paper. Crackers still shoot through your paper. All of my niggas, they nerds. Raising the birds. Fuck what you heard. We trap cause his heads in the burps. Some niggas got perks. Pitching them beans, they go on the first. Shot off a team. Who that nigga with the codeine? White girl named Promethazine. All she want is the BBC. Bitch, how much on this EBT? I don't fuck with the enemy, but I know some niggas pay the entry fee. We some nerds from the birds. Them check chasers. Yo, what's your man's Ray Bands that nerd from the bird? It's Father's Day weekend, and you already know, man, Zone Talk. An exclusive radio podcast for those who don't know, man. You can always lock in with us, OWRadio247.com, and check us out. You can hire us, man. Just click the links in the tabs, and go ahead and book yourself a situation where we'll pop out on you, or you can pull up on us. It's like that. We here, man, exclusively with your guy. Cliff, Cliff CM4 Productions, the CEO, the chief, the head honcho. Let's talk about what it is and why you feel entrepreneurship is important today. Why is it important today? Because you, when you realize that, shout out to Nipsey Hussle, that it's plus the middleman, yeah. you can, you <laughs> can take it to the moon. You can take it to the moon. I feel that. I feel that. Hey, Mel. Mel. You grab E. You grab E for me. E. It's real raw and, and real cut like that. We out here, man. We outside. Uh, Cliff, CM4 Productions. When you decided to open up yourself and be a, a servitude to the people and provide them with visuals, what was your mindset? What was the most important part that you wanted to stand on when representing yourself as CM4 Productions? That I stand on business. When it comes to... When it come to uh, this Noah, y'all, right here. Yeah, it's my what's nephew up, right here. Buddy? Y'all see what's up, him? Nep? Yeah, yeah Nep. This my this my nephew right here. But it's important just to stand on business. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's important to stand on business. And uh, Ooh, all the babies. Oh, yeah, we all together. Yeah. Then. Look at the camera. Hey, little mama. Wave, y'all got a wave. Superwoman. <laughs> it's important to stand on business and let them know that you're gonna deliver how you supposed to deliver. Good, good stuff, man. Good stuff. Well, I think that, you know, when you start opening yourself up and getting in this lane, there's a lot of respect you got to have for those who've been before you. Who do you look up to when it comes to what you provide and, and where you follow your learning from? Growing up, growing up, it was like Mark Moe and Twan D and Marcus Smith. And just like it was like a basketball. It was like a basketball type of thing. I think everybody in Mount Clemens who. So we looked right. up who was like really balling. And Ramar, Rose Smitty, everybody. Um, and they was doing their thing. Yeah, you see that camera? And, and I think that kind of like built the foundation to like, you know what I'm saying, set the standard. Because we seen them shine first. Hey, I like that, man. Shout, big shout out to Mark Moe. Anybody that's an alumni of this town, man, that really put a footprint out here. You know, shout out to you. These babies on us, y'all. These babies on us. Cliff, I like to I like to think that when we when we put effort out like this, that we should you know particularly target uh, our audience. When you make content, who do you shoot it for? I think for me first, because I like seeing how I like seeing how far it goes. Like as far as content go, I want to see like if people like it, if they laugh at it, if they don't like it, and then you kind of polish it from there. And then after that, it kind of goes to the audience. But for, like the primary answer to that question is me. 
Yeah, I just want to get it out of my system. Like, I got skits in my notes. I just want to get it out of my system. Well, tell me about some of the projects that you've done. You've had a run, and folks have gotten to know your name. What 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 projects do you feel stand out the most in your career? What projects stand out the most? Um, the TV show that we just filmed, Hidden, had a dope storyline to it, and I think that stood out the most. Well, when 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 it comes to that show, Hidden, what part do you play in that role? For those who don't know. Um, so in that movie, or well in that TV series, I'm kind of like a background character because I'm filming a lot of it and directing a lot of it. Um, but I'll be in it for like three episodes out of the seven. But it's not that it's not that much of an important character. Now you just hit me over the head. You said directing and behind the camera. I'm behind. I'm behind the camera. I wrote it. I got T. Rich helping me film it, and I directed it. Okay, now that's, yeah, a, that's a that's a trifecta. That's where it comes, shit, girl. You see me, y'all, trying Solo. to play these babies. <laughs> Woo! All right, we ain't we ain't tripping, man. The kids gonna be kids. Got to be careful, <laughs> eh? That, they they want to see it. You know, we we that gotta save them, man. You know, fathers do what they do the I'm best. It's a reaction, y'all. It's a reaction. So listen, Cliff, <laughs> that was a bit of a scare. That was a good catch, too. <laughs> hey, I missed the Lokito. I ain't catch it. I, I, I didn't want to drop this either. <laughs> yeah, you see me out there, little man? I was trying to be Mr. C, Mr. Hero. I had two things I wanted to think about. Noah, there's Noah right here. Yeah, Noah. Hey, Noah going to be somebody. You can right tell. Here. He already ready. What's Shout up, Shout out man? to my boy Red right here. My hey, man, it's like that out here, man. We again posted up, man. Shout out to... Uh, Gucci for putting together a, a unique event and then, uh, one of those exclusive moments, man, where you just got to pull up and pull out. Uh, it's one of those pull up and park type of joints. If you around town and you ain't never heard, you know what I'm saying, the Clem get lit, come check us out, man. We out here vibing, man. No no nonsense, no drama. We got the hoop court. We got the the water pad. We got the the the, the, the uh, balcony areas, man, for you to post up. It's, it's, a, it's a vibe. We like it. We also got the uh, iconic mobile gaming and sports truck in the building or in the in the zone uh they came out to provide the kids with gaming on the bus and just like that they passing by left and right we here kicking it man with uh cliff just see him for not not the messages on my own and we just like that look at that plug it back up you know like we we out here everybody get a little shine everybody get a little shine yeah i up i upgraded Right back, man. Ride up on me, summer set the heat Change the weather, how you sleeping in these cold streets Vegan to the game, I don't need beef Soul playing blaze, volcano in your face I said ride up on me, summer set the heat Change the weather, how you sleeping in these cold streets Vegan to the game, I don't need beef Soul playing blaze, blow a cannon in your face Ay, Wiping tears all right, all right, folks, man. We're back. It's your man, Ray Band, that nerd from the bird. Father's Day exclusive special, man. Tune in. Zone Talk, our way, Instagram. Hey, Cliff, man. Any last words before we get up out of here, man? I know you got to get with the kiddos and whatnot, man. Any last words? Most definitely, man. Hey, shout out to our way radio, man. Zone Talk in the building. We went live and direct at the Father's Day event. It's a million fathers outside. We standing on business, taking care of our responsibilities. And we just climbing, man, as black men, as men, as a collective. And we just handling business. So salute to y'all. I appreciate the interview. August 17th, the sixth annual Sevens Tournament. Pull up, free backpacks, rock climbing walls, setting zoos, and everything. Y'all already know. Woo! We here Father's Day, folks. Shady side, Slim time. Let's get it, man. Y'all already know Zone Talk. <sighs> I'm too much pressure for him. He told me lighten up. Yeah, they know it's low heavy. Come try and back Hey, y'all, I have nothing to do with this. Kid. This climber. I have nothing to do with Why this. You all up in my face, you my energy was up. over. Yeah, this ain't no base room. He got to hit me in it. Might go to Sunday fun day and burn the tires yeah. up. Yeah, I'm the only nigga bring a bunch of bitches to the trap. Yeah. Busting down the slab with somebody else, yeah. bitch, on my I'm lap. face it. Yeah, you ain't got no money, nigga, don't say shit. Yeah, I know you want to trade places. Yeah. Treat a bitch like property. Yeah, if that bitch broke, I replace my nigga slamming.